rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okie dokie. Um, first on the agenda this evening, we have public comment period. Toby? Toby, our sending in 95 Granite Street. Can you hear? Yeah. Yep. Um, I'd like to talk about the uh, banners for the Charlene Lou when you come to that. And uh, the other subject. Uh, that concerns me is affordable housing. I spoke of it once before, uh, saying unkindly that nothing had happened in the year since the uh, 2000 uh, annual town meeting authorized the creation of the Rockport Affordable Housing Trust. Uh, I've now written your board a longish letter on the subject of affordable housing. I have no expertise on the subject. Uh, the letter is chiefly uh, the common sense questions that ought to be answered publicly before the uh, housing trust is launched. Uh, I haven't yet got it to the board, so this is something you can look forward to in prospect. Uh, anyway, uh, one of the things I've asked for in the letter uh, is that you invite to your workshop, you said you were going to schedule a workshop on affordable housing, uh, that you invite to your workshop representatives of Action Incorporated and uh, Harbor Light because they're in the business successfully, and I'm sure if, uh, how can I say I'm sure? I think it very likely that if you invited them to your workshop, they would be pleased to send a representative and, and help you. Uh, and I hope when you do come up with a date for the workshop that you'd announce it publicly uh, and try and get uh, those who are interested to attend. Why don't you make your comments on the banners now? Uh, yes. Thank the, you. The banners uh, for the Shaw and Lou, uh, certainly the ultimate sacred cow, are uh, by way of being an eyesore. Uh, the downtown is cluttered with signs, some of which we can't help, they're absolute necessities, uh, others of which are not. If you look at old photographs of the town, uh, two things are very different. The great elm trees arching over, long gone, and uh, the buildings hadn't all been uh, tacked onto, added to endlessly, and there wasn't the great clutter of signs, and it was altogether pleasanter. And there's no reason or excuse for the banners, and I'm asking you to say no to them. Okay, thank you. Anyone else for public comment? Okay, uh, next we have a uh, entertainment license hearing, but I believe that's not scheduled till 7.20. Okay, so we can um, move on if that's okay for now. Um, is Nancy Robb here? Hi, Nancy. Um, do you want to join us up at the table? I feel like the microphones are really loud tonight. Is it? It's like awkward. I'm like, <laughs> feel free to have a seat wherever you'd like. And um, we had a reception for this. Um, lovely painting which we've discussed b before so people are welcome to grab their strawberries they're like amazing brownies and cheese and crackers so feel free to, to help yourself um do you, do you want to stand or you're welcome to have a seat if you'd like i can stand okay great well welcome thank, thank you so you. much thanks for joining us um is there a motion <laughs> that's mark i'm gonna take it sure uh madam chair i nominate nancy robb as a member of the Council on Aging for a term to expire on June 30th, 2021. Thank you very much. Um, welcome. Thanks so much Thank for joining you. us tonight. Um, I know That's that, it? No. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Um, we did receive a really nice letter from the, from the Council on Aging saying that you had attended meetings. Would you mind telling us, and for those of us who didn't receive your letter, a little bit about yourself and what, why you're interested in joining the Council? Um, do you have my resume? I do have your resume as okay. well. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm... I live at 110 Phillips Ave. I've been a res full-time resident of Rockport for three years. I have, I'm a licensed clinical social worker, and I keep my license uh, still going, even though I'm not working as hard as I used to. 
Um, and I decided to join the council for several reasons. I worked a little bit about the past. Um, I had a private therapy pro, uh, you know, I was, I had, I'm sort of losing it, but, okay. you know, practice. for 10 years I had a private practice. Okay. I saw a lot of elders in the private practice. They were referring each other to, to me, which was very nice. And, um, you know, I, also, I went through um, with my parents and I was out of town and it was very difficult. My mother had Alzheimer's for a number of years. And I'm 71 now. So <laughs> I, I, think it's, I think this is a good fit for me to do this right now. I've worked in healthcare. I've worked with domestic violence. Um, I've worked with refugees and immigrant populations. I'm a clinician. If it's in front of me, I'll try and figure it out. Um, and I really um, look forward to, I have time now, and I look forward to uh, working with the Council on Aging, and I've been quite impressed with the breadth of services that's being offered. I came from Newton, and I think there's more going on here <laughs> than Newton. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's interesting. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, questions from the um, question. You know, this is one of those those councils that I, I don't know. I mean, you see the better, you see the you know the the elder abuse day and and all the great luncheons that go on down there. I've, I've been fortunate enough to go down and speak to people down there, which was great. And it's nice to to interact for us to go to them because a lot of them can't get here. But uh, tell me a little bit more about what goes on there. I'm really interested to know what the count what 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 the the broader focus of maybe the council is. Well, I think the council has a broad focus in terms of um, the programs I participated in. Let's start from the bottom and work up. The pro is, you know, staying healthy and moving. Um, and the yoga programs and the physical fitness programs, I think, has been really critical for people um, to maintain their ability to move around and keep their brains moving, and it's a connection with other people, which is really very important. Um, I think since this is not a clinical program, what we can do around um, elders that are being um, stuck in situations because people are sticking them in situations, and elders who um, have financial issues and elders who have transportation issues and food issues, um, that's something that, that can be addressed. Um, I don't see myself playing a role as a clinician um, in this position. I see myself playing a role as an advocate. Good. Thank you. Great. All right. Thank you. Sure. Other questions? Um, yeah. I was very, I, I was very, very impressed with your resume. I'm a nurse also. And um, this, your history in social work and um, employee assistance helping. There are still lots of elders who still work. Oh, and yeah. And <laughs> you will be a sounding board for a lot of those yeah. who have working issues and things like that. Oh, so I, you will yeah. be a great asset yeah. up there. I like to advocate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining with them. That's great. Thank you for accepting me. Great. Did you have a yeah, I just, um, I, I'd like to echo um, your comments on what the Council on Aging does. You guys are absolutely amazing. The breadth of services and the diversity of offerings is really impressive. From, you know, everyday meals to, I know I have a friend who goes to Tai Chi every Tuesday to, uh, it's just really quite impressive. And I expect at some point I will be taking advantage of some yeah. of these services. <laughs> I should too. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Thank for you stepping for stepping forward. forward. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Appreciate you. your expertise. Any further comments or questions on the board? Okay, so we could vote on the nomination. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. So we will vote just to appoint you at our next meeting, but you don't have to be here for that. Thank Get you. Get busy getting to Council on Aging meetings instead. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we have another five minutes, or should we? Monica is Monica? here, Monica. right? Yep. Monica's There's Monica right there. hiding yeah. in the back. She's been here quite a while. I saw yeah, you I know. Like at 4 30. <laughs> <laughs> And tomorrow morning, I will be taking advantage of fitness classes at the Senior Center, which are just terrific. So That's great. Strong um, endorsement for nice those programs. Nice to see you again, Monica. Yes. We were together about an hour ago. Um, is there a motion to appoint Monica to the Building Study Committee? Sure. 
I nominate Monica Lawton as a member of the Building Study Committee for a term to expire on June 30th, 2019. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Um, would you like to just tell us a little bit about what you wrote in your letter, your interest for building study? Uh, well, uh, as, as you know, I am, have been recently appointed to the DPW facility uh, building committee. And it, it seems that that's putting the cart before the horse. It seems that the town needs a building study committee first to take a look at uh, the utilization of the, the many public buildings we have in town to, to see uh, if they're being used to the ultimate, if there are some uh, considerations to uh, altering some of the use, et cetera. Uh, it's been a long time since there's been a careful look at the buildings in town. And this uh, becomes more acute, particularly as you look to build a new P DPW facility, because there are issues simply around whether or not all of the DPW people should uh, be consolidated or should some of them stay in town hall. And so that's the first issue to arise. And uh, you need to do that before you can build a new building. So I thought I would um, shift gears a little bit and offer to take part in the building study committee because I have uh, just as much an interest in that as I do in building a new DPW facility. And uh, since there seems to be an urgent need for members for that committee, <laughs> I thought I would raise my hand on that. And I think you've all uh, seen my background. And Ruth, I, uh, George, I know you're new to the committee, but I spent 20 years basically in the construction industry. And so I'm very familiar with public procurement. I've had the opportunity to do the design and fit out of, of a couple of office buildings, a couple of major renovations at home. I love architecture, design, and construction, and utilization of space. So I thought uh, there might be something I could offer to the Building Study Committee. Maybe just a little something. Right. <laughs> 20 years of yeah. construction experience. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much. Questions? Another no question. But I, I got to tell you, Monica, you're one of those people that every town needs a dozen of. <laughs> you know, I mean, you really get involved in everything. Your, your opinions are valuable. Your insights are sage. And I think, I, I thank you for doing what you do well, in, in a lot of you. different aspects for thank this town. Thank you. Table. You're very welcome. Yeah. And, and so far, it's fun. Great. Yeah, Great. right? Thank you. Thank Keep you. Saying that. Thanks, okay, thank you. Okay. Um, sh we will vote on the nomination. Mm -hmm. Any further comments or questions? Yep. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Thanks, Monica. Thank you, Monica. Um, thank you. Bruce too, yeah, I think, days. Bruce, do you mind if we do your interview? We can't start the public hearing until tw 720, so. I'll jump right Feel on free this. to sit if you'd like as well. I'll as stand. You. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Good. Uh, Madam Chair, I move that the selectmen reappoint Bruce Reed as a member of the DPW Board of Commissioners for a term to expire on June 30th, 2021. Second. Don't be scared by 2021, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a sentence. <laughs> sounds like an awful Just long ways We away, should end it? these in like a really upbeat, high-pitched voice. I was going to end it with no possibility of parole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the floor is yours. Well, I wasn't sure I was going to stand here this time around. <laughs> But uh, here I am. Um, you. You know, I just think we've got a lot of unanswered, unfinished projects, I guess is the, uh, yeah. the term to use. And uh, so I want to be part of it and make sure we get them done from uh, the, uh, I, dare I say it, the next phase at the, uh, the, uh, the dump, as I call it. You know, we want to tackle what we see is the uh, traffic flow issues up there and see if we can't figure out how to make it safer for people and not have people getting hit as they walk back and forth with trash, <laughs> et cetera. So, so that's on the agenda, more roads, and then just putting the town back together again after the storms. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just a pitch for the guys. I think they've done a, an incredible job after the March storms yeah. of uh, putting the town back together. And, uh, and they're still finding problems. You know, it's, a, it's amazing the damage those storms did in Rockport. And, uh, but they've, they've done a terrific job trying to get it all lit back together. So hopefully we can keep it together and not have another year yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. yeah. Any questions on projects that we've got going? Uh, I, if you uh, if you open up to that, sure. 
on the um, on the chapter ninety stuff for downtown. What are the what are the prospects of 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 gearing towards the the repavement of downtown Dock Square, the neck? Where do we stand on that? We're certainly talking about it, Don, and we recognize the, it needs it. Main Street needs it desperately because it's it's getting to that point where it's getting some pretty good cracks in it and so forth. So that yeah, the whole area, that section on Upper Main Street. You know, from where the state finished and where we did last year needs to be done. We're, the problem we're going to have is the same old problem. We just not, we don't have a lot of money to do a lot of work, and the amount of money that the state gives us on a yearly basis is not a lot of money to do a lot of roads. So we're going to really have to look for the town to contribute. And, you know, so, so I guess that, you know, part of the issue is do you do a little bit every year or do you bank the money and then come in and do a big job? And, you know, that's sort of where we are, to be honest. I think we also have to take a look at some of the, uh, and I'm not sure of the terminology right now, it's escaping me, but where instead of rebuilding the road entirely and pulverizing it, by putting on a thinner coat of hot top, which a lot of communities are doing now, and I think we have to do that. Over, isn't it an overlay, if I remember yeah, from the meetings? Yeah, exactly, an the overlay. overlay, and do an overlay. Um, and I'm no expert on it, but it, it would appear that Bearskin Neck would be a good place for that to go, but you know, we'll wait till the guys get in, dig holes, and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's a big one. What we chose to do this year was finish the project from the school area that we did about three years ago. So this soon, after the kids are out, we'll be doing uh, Marshall Street, Parker Street. We're gonna be doing, this isn't part of the schools, but it's roads that desperately need it. Smith Street, Smith Street Court, and Holbrook Court. Because part of the problem with the the paving plan that we have it addresses the major streets and it doesn't touch the small streets so we have decided that we've got to get some of those streets fixed as well so this was a year that we decided to to try and tackle some of the smaller streets as well so and we will pretty much be following you know the survey or the the report that we have on doing streets, but the downtown streets are in there and are high on the list. Okay. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Sorry, Obviously, a big project going on at Long Beach, yes. and okay. uh, they're yeah. down there working out, pulling up the sidewalks, and they're finding more voids or have found more oh, voids. Well, which is, I mean, that's good in the sense of that was part of the reason that of pulling it up, right? Yep. To be able to easy easily find more easily find the voids yeah Great. how many how much is taken up down there so far you know what Don? i'm not sure i haven't been down recently but the I'll plan was more. to have it totally completed the project by the end of june yeah so I'll it's to coming right along pictures were you down there today they, they, they've been getting at least 300 feet a day wow wow and how far along are they now? work I, I was down yesterday i didn't catch today's but they're they've got a great system um that oh, they're cool. going through so they, they will be done Pretty, pretty quickly. Okay. Wow. I'll take some pictures wow. tomorrow morning and yeah, send them out. Yeah. Other questions? Um, I have a question. When you do Parker Street, do you, are, do, you do Warren Court and Clement? I don't believe so. Okay. I don't believe it's are on they there. considered a pri private? You know what? I don't know. Yeah. They were in terrible condition. I rode up there the other day. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Okay. The thing that's interesting about the private roads in Rockport, it's almost 50% of the roads in Rockport are yeah. private. I know. And, you know, we, we were just having that discussion at our last commissioner's meeting you were at yeah. and talking about what do we do on private roads. And basically what we do is we go in and we patch holes. Yeah. But we don't pave. So, right. you know, they'll go in and they'll, they'll patch them, but that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know in my neighborhood, everyone's grateful for the patching because the patching helped a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's that's kind of the the role we take. And uh, you know, we were well, being at that meeting, you heard us. We were talking about the uh, when a contractor 
works on a road and patches a road, you know, does a, a dig in it, and uh, we're now going to be charging more and trying to create a trust fund yeah. or a fund so that there's money there when we have to go in and fix it in two years. Oh. And there'll be money there, so that's that's something else we're trying to do. So. Great. Oops. Okay. Oops. Okay. Any other questions I for just Bruce? Had to, sure. One yeah, quick. Yeah, so, yeah. so Bruce, I'm 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 sure you're looking forward to this as much as I am. That when we get together, um, kind of to try to formulate a plan as we were charged in town meeting, uh, for the for the town um, to deal with things such as the vote that the DPW commissioners made. Uh, there were several votes about extending the sewer line and what yep. do we do with yep. wastewater treatment capacity, and I think that's going to be important work. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think it's uh, you know it's really important to the future of the town yep. and uh, has to be addressed, and we need to get go yep. going at it. Yep. Totally agree. Yep. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay. Thanks Thank you. so much, Bruce. Thank you. Um, so we will vote on the reappointment. Bruce, thank you so much for continuing. Yeah, thanks yeah. for showing up. <laughs> yeah, and I know that this year you guys have taken on, you know, you personally, for some reason people like personally take the, their grief out on you guys for the pay as you throw and for like some of the hard decisions that are made in town. I mean, they always take them out on us, but sometimes you get tagged along as well. <laughs> so I just wanted to thank you, you for taking on the hard things. You <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So thanks for all of your hard work. Um, we hadn't made we the motion, right? No. no. Oh, we didn't make the, we did we make, did make the motion. Okay. Yeah, we didn't Any further it. questions or comments on the nomination? No. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries, thanks. Thanks, Bruce. Um, okay, now the time, it's past 720. So is there a motion to open the public hearing for My Place Entertainment License? Yes. I move that the Board of Selectmen open a public hearing on the application of My Place by the Sea restaurant for an entertainment license to allow outdoor music on premise. Second motion has been made and seconded. Um, roll call vote. Yeah, roll call vote. Selectman George? Yes. Selectman Donnelly? Aye. Selectman Wilkinson? Aye. Selectman Campbell? Aye. Selectman Murphy? Aye. Welcome, Paul. Uh, okay, motion has been made and carried. I will now read the notice that was in the paper. Take me a second to find it. Sorry, my iPad's like super slow. Oh, there we go, we're close. There we go. Um, Town of Rockport, Board of Selectmen Public Hearing, Tuesday, June 12th, 2018, 7.20 p.m., Conference Room A, Town Office Building, to discuss the application for My Place by the Sea, 68 Bearskin Neck, LLC, 68 Bearskin Neck for an entertainment license to allow outdoor music on premises. Signed, Board of Selectmen, Sarah J. Wilkinson Chair, Gloucester Times, June 1st, 2018. Okay, great. Um, I see, Kat, oh, are you gonna join us at the table? Great, okay. Sure, you can have a seat. Uh, my name is Jackson Hillman, I'm employee at My Place by the Sea. Oh, Speak in the okay. microphone. You just move it over. Uh, Jackson Hillman. Employee at my place by the sea. Uh, we're hoping to continue our Wednesday night hump day celebration. Uh, we offer a, we have a DJ to uh, play uh, live fun music for dancing on our lower deck by the water. Um, we have a uh, lighter fare, more fun and casual menu for our guests, and we have uh, plenty of uh, interior decorations to offer a more friendly and fun environment for people of all ages. And we're hoping to continue the same time frame we have in past years of 5 to about 9.30 sharp when we uh, turn off the music and start to wind down for the night. Right. Okay, question, did you have a question? Uh, may I, or I didn't want to. Yeah, to. I just want to make sure, is that what the application said, 5.30 to 9.30? I believe so, right, Kevin? I just want to, yeah. Yep. So what's so, the, go ahead. This says five to 10. Yeah. The application says five to 10. Did we have something different planned or? No. Nope. It's six to nine on the one. It says six to nine on one and five to ten on another one. Yeah, I think that there were two. There was an application for a day and then also another event. We were Friday night. A Friday night thing that Jack can speak to. They're both Jacks. Okay. So, Jack's so, speak to that. so okay. now we're talking about Wednesday nights? Mm -hmm. Wednesday, okay. five to nine thirty. All right. Well, that one says five to ten. Five to the ten. License, the application says five to ten. 
Was it 5.30? Do you remember what it was last year? Nine. It was the 9.30, wasn't it? I think it was 9.30. 9 I yep. think it was 9.30 yep. last year. Okay. Okay. All right. So are, are you guys hoping it's um, to deal with the Wednesday nights first and then deal with the Friday nights separately? Mm -hmm. Okay. So are there um, questions from the board on the Wednesday nights and then we'll open it up to the public and then we'll deal yeah, with the Friday night separate. separately? Great. Sure. Uh, what, what's your position at My Place by the Sea? I'm a server at okay. My Place by the Sea. Okay. And yeah. I bus as well sometimes. You bus, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and <clears throat> from last year, mm -hmm. um, has anything whatsoever changed in terms of uh, how this is going to be rolled out? Uh, no, pretty much the same operation, uh, same live music, pretty similar menu. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a similar DJ again as well with our few speakers and uh, same fun as always. Okay. Yep. Good. Yep. I just wanted to see if anything was different or anything has changed. No. Well, Kathy, how many years? Five years has this been going? This will be the fourth year. Fourth year, okay. Okay, thank you. Of course. Mm -hmm. Sure. You, and my concern is you'll, you'll maintain that open door policy if something is getting a little louder than it should. Mm -hmm. If somebody says something, they can approach you and you guys will make necessary adjustments, correct? Yep. Yeah, we have open ears to anything like that. Okay. Yeah, I think okay. last year, um, Crystal can speak to it if she'd like, if being a direct neighbor. Uh, but we did everything within our reach uh, to accommodate everybody, and I think that it, it worked out for, for everyone. Okay. Okay. So at this point, we'll open um, open the floor for any other comments. I just ask that anyone who speaks um, goes up to the microphone and give your name and address. Anyone? Anyone? Sorry, I'm here. Ladies first. This microphone. Yeah, sure. please. Uh, Pete Wilcox, 24 King Street. Uh, we're new to town in the fact that we've been here now, going on our fifth year. So we've enjoyed this uh, Wednesday night activity. I'm a people watcher, so whether I'm at a table, on the deck, or on the dance floor enjoying the music, I'm watching the parking lot and I'm watching the people walking up and down the neck and some of them stop in an empty parking space and start dancing. And it's just a really enjoyable time, not just for us locals, but for other people walking up and down the neck, they seem to really enjoy the, the music and the fun that we're having. Thanks. Great, thanks. Thank you. Crystal? Crystal Laville, 64 Bearskin Neck. Um, so uh, I think that last year, um, the uh, in the past couple years that the event has been going on um, at the hotel, we've had issues, pretty significant issues in the beginning. Um, and I think over time, we've figured out a way to manage them as well as worked with the restaurant with you know some maybe some maybe noise concerns. The biggest thing is I think for us. By letting people know significantly in advance, we've been able to manage expectations a little bit better. It's still not always the most popular thing amongst the guests because we're about 15 feet apart, <laughs> so you can hear it on the decks. But I think they've done, you know, their part in trying to maybe keep the volume down. And you know, if it's the same, the five to nine thirty, we're happy in the spirit of cooperation to, you know, at least carry out that compromise because mm -hmm. I think that they, you know, they have tried their best and we have tried our best mm -hmm. to kind of try the find that happy medium. Good. So, Good. you know, we certainly don't want to stop the fun as long as it's, you know, managed in the same same way as last year, which I think was the smoothest of the year so far. Yeah. So, yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Great. Good to hear. Okay. If I can. Sure. Um, I got to tell you, you know, I remember the first meetings when all this happened and it was a bit it was a bit tense. And we just said if we can all work together on something that we can find the solution. And I got to tell you, this is testament to finding that solution and working together on issues. So, you know, I think you both should be commended on, on working together to, to make this a great event. Um, you know, you guys put a phenomenal event on up there. You have guests that patronize that event. And uh, I just think it's, it's, it's a win-win for everybody. So good, good job to both of you. Great. Um, any other public comments? Diane? I am Bertolino, 36 Stockholm Avenue. I j I've been to Hump Day, and I just think it's a lot of fun, and I think a lot of the people in town really enjoy it, and I really would like to attend this year, too. Great. So. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Um, okay. Any further questions from the board? No. Nope. Okay, great. Um, all right, did you guys have something else separately? Do we, did, do we want to vote on this? Well, uh, no, it's, we just have one. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Hearing, That's right. So. Okay. 
Sorry. Okay. Hello, my name is uh, James Fritz. I am also a server at My Place by the Sea. And this year we are going to be also looking for a license to do a, uh, an event on Friday nights. And that is going to be called Live from Bearskin Neck, it's Friday night. We have a connection to uh, Barbara Thomas, who is a professor at Berkeley School of Music. And she does the, uh, the pregame shows for uh, Walkie, Walkie Way at uh, the Red Sox pregames. So she works well within uh, no noise ordinances for town. So uh, I don't think that should be too much of a concern. And we'll have many different genres. And it's really just about celebrating students at Berkeley. Also uh, kind of helping the view at Bearskin Neck, really celebrating what we have. Okay. Yeah, so uh, uh, just so I understand, is this going to be outside music as well? Uh, yes, yeah, so we would be looking uh, for permission to use the first parking space next to the restaurant. And I know that we have been allotted this permission before with Harvest Festivals in the past. Oh, wait, having music in the first parking space? Yeah, did you get, we, we sent the letter. Yeah, it's just yeah, like the but fear. the way the, the part, yeah. But the oh the way the the way I understood the letter was that you wanted to just use that parking use the parking for parking like for parking. Oh no no. So, so you'd have mu outdoor music. Yeah, we don't oh have okay. You know, in the past we've had the harvest festival. We've had you know bands out there. We're just looking for something maybe a couple of acoustic sets or something. Not much different than the gentleman that's up the end of the neck five days a week <laughs> playing the same music over and over <laughs> uh, with an amplifier. Um, we're just looking to use that first space. So it's sort of for the town as well as for us. So it's not like directly involving the Bearskin Motor Lodge. It's up on the upper end of it. And the backdrop is Bearskin Neck at its best. And, yes, that's uh, a different, you know, yeah, different a license. Jazz, yeah. That's a different type of license. A Frank Sinatra impersonator. Just something for fun, summer fun. Yeah. Uh, in that first space. And if somebody needed electricity, we could provide that for them as well. Yes. Okay. So, sorry. The way the letter was written, it looked like you were looking to do more outdoor music at the restaurant, but then use the parking space. Does that make sense? So that's where we're confused. Yeah. So if so, that's a different type of license because that wouldn't be on that wouldn't be music on your property. That would be on town property. So, am I correct, Mitch? Correct. And typically, we would. Separate uh, we would hearing. do something different. That'd be a right. separate. That would be a separate for, hearing for, for that. Right. Um, right. And this, I believe, it uh, came in on Friday, so I don't believe the police have had an opportunity to look at that particular use. Now that we're clear with what it is. Right. That would be like, for example, the selectmen. We give permission on Harvest Fest for music throughout ta throughout downtown, or like we've um, uh, Dan's here for the music on what nights. The. Um, Right, but you know the music that we've approved oh, in the past, yep. up Providing up Main Street. Street, yeah, the up Main Street. So, <laughs> so it's on Friday night. We could just coordinate. Well, so that would be that would be part of that. So that would actually be a different type of hearing, which I think we're happy to do. It's just a separate. It it doesn't actually relate to your entertainment license because it would yeah, be on would town be property. Short, yeah, yeah. No, now it now it understands. Now I'm so understanding yeah. it better. Okay, got it. So you have an idea. It's a way to get people on a Friday night to stroll up the neck. It was six to nine. Okay. You no, know, before it really gets dark. So people will shop. So it says five to ten. Eat, okay. Sit on their so rocks, that's separate. We'll just do that. Got it. Now it's becoming clear. Yes. Okay. Um, Dan, are you guys are you, uh, on another topic? Are you guys thinking about coming back for the Friday nights again? Um, that was going to be the plan that you would do that night. Okay. So. okay. It would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Yeah. So I. Yeah. So I don't want to get too off topic. So I think for tonight we just have to deal with Hump Day, and the um, the license for that, and then separately after the hearing closes, Mitch can kind of advise us on moving forward with the Friday night, the the permitting process for that. Does that make sense? Okay. Sure. So, it's, so one would be a, you're requesting yeah, use of town property, okay. so using okay. the, the parking space. That would be the difference versus using the deck for your. Okay. Yeah, um, and that the abutters would probably be notified. Mm -hmm. It'd be a right. similar process, but we have to treat that one. Treat it, just no. treat it like yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, okay, so since the hearing is still open, are there any further, I just want to make sure no one reserved their comments knowing that the hearing was still going on. So any further comments on hump day? No? Okay, great. Is there a motion to close the hearing? There is. I move that the Board of Selectmen approve an entertainment license for the My Place by we the Sea. close the hearing first. Oh, oh, yeah, oh sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I just want to make sure. Getting ahead of myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. There you go. Uh, Madam Chair, I move that the Board of Selectmen close the public hearing. Okay, second. second. Motion has been made and seconded. Further discussion? Okay. Uh, roll call vote. Selectman George? Aye. Selectman Donnelly? Aye. Selectman Wilkinson? Aye. Selectman Campbell? Aye. Selectman Murphy? Aye. Okay. The hearing is now closed. Is there a there motion for the license? M Madam so yeah, I'm just on. making sure. No, that Mitch, the Mitch is. Sure, Madam Chair, I just, if, if you'd like me to now. Offer Would you like a, to a tweak the motion clarity? a little sure. bit? That would be great. So, based on that, it appears that so for Wednesday evening, so if the board would like to specify, so um, Ms. Donnelly, if you would, as you're making the motion, adjust mm -hmm. with the, the time the and the days. Yep, perfect. Okay, great. Um, I move that the Board of Selectmen approve an entertainment license for the My Place by the Sea restaurant of 68 Bearskin Neck to allow outdoor music on premises including live and jizz jockey music and dancing by its patrons on Wednesdays for the summer from 5 to 9.30 p.m. That will expire on May 31st, 2019. Second. Great. Uh, motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, roll call vote. Selectman George? Aye. Selectman Donnelly? Aye. Selectman Wilkinson? Aye. Selectman Campbell? Aye. Selectman Murphy? Aye. Great. When, when's the first uh, event? <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Your bets there. Yeah. We know, where to, we know to right. where to find Paul. Right. No. Thank you. Thanks. Thank good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Very good. Great. So I I misunderstood the letter. I'd, yeah. Me so too. Maybe. Yeah. So yes, my editor. So we'll we'll reach out to um, to my place now that we have. Some clear information on what we're what looking for there and public. inform them what the request process would be mm. and, yeah. and any fees associated with that. Great. Yeah. And that would that would be different. Like that would be the type of thing where you'd have to do the, the background checks probably on that. It would be a license. A uh, license. Similar to this, so we'd have to go through the normal. No, I mean on the performers. Would, would that really be an outdoor performer? You'll have to look into it. Y yeah, it depends on what, how the board considers it. If, we, okay. if we're doing it. Um, Interesting. You, you know, any any performer in that spot, if okay. you're getting it to them for that night, if you're assigning Sorry. them that spot for the night, versus if you're doing um, a version of street performer license for the individuals. It, okay. it depends on, we'll look at what the best option may yeah. be, mm. and we'll, 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 we'll come with a suggestion. For that. We're going to have to have a public hearing. And, and Correct. And yeah. We would do a yeah, yeah, butters yeah. and find yeah. out what type of music. Exactly. And, you know. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it okay. sounded like it was going to be pretty low key acoustic and yeah. Yeah, but then she was, she said if they need electricity and yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who knows? Yeah. yeah, so I think that the, it's the, an interesting the, idea. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the crux of it is simply that it's on town property and we need right. to make that it's a different license. Right. Yeah. yeah, glad we Good. cleared that up quickly. Great. All right. Okay. Terrific. Um, next, we have approval of minutes of May twenty second, two thousand eighteen. I move that the selectmen approve the minutes of May twenty second, two thousand eighteen. Second. Excellent minutes. Any changes? As always. None. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Selectman updates and liaison reports. I got them. Go ahead. Yep. I'll jump in. Um, I got three, actually. Uh, first was the, the uh, graduation, which was phenomenal. Um, it, it's so great to see the business community and, and private citizens in town who, who may have lost somebody and have a scholarship in their name um, that's given to one of the, the graduating kids. And it's, you know, the, the amount of money that's given out in such a small community to help these kids start their college life was phenomenal. And I, I just, it was, it was really, really nice. So I can, thought that was I great. Can I just jump in for a minute? Yeah, please. I have to, t someone who, who runs graduations for the last twi 25 years in Manchester, Essex, coming to the Rockport one, was a really uh, I hadn't been to a Rockwood High School graduation in probably 20, 20 years myself. So it was really there's it, something special. They don't have a speaker. Uh, they have the people come up and uh, give the scholarships and so forth. It is a bit long, but it has a very um, town 
feeling to mm. it. And it really is. Uh, there's 68 graduates. It's a small. Mm. Um, it's in the high school gym on a Friday night. It doesn't get any better. But I, mm. I, I echo you, your And you were a graduate, Don. I did. Congratulations. So it, was, it was a thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And Paul uh, did too, right? I'm no, she was the class marshal. Yeah, she, and right. she did a phenomenal job leading everybody, <laughs> by the way. But it was great because the kids really... Uh, they, what, the music there was it was it was amazing, absolutely amazing. Isn't it so great? Yeah, I won't be late back. Um, the next one I have, and I'm sure Ruthie will speak to this as well, is we were lucky enough to give Bob Visnick the uh, our present uh, a proclamation from the town to Bob Visnick on being the small business person of the year. Um, we all know Bob. We all know that this guy deserves it in more ways than one. He does a lot for the town. He does a lot for um, his community by his way by way of involvement. So. Um, Bob's a great guy, so that was really good, and I'm sure Ruthie will expand. And then the last part, once again, as everybody loves. My favorite part. Set your DVRs at home, because this is going to happen right now. Um, <laughs> Selectman Campbell signed the payroll warrant, number 49, totaling $2,293,804.09, and expense warrant, number 49, totaling $497,334.74, on June 5th, 2018, Selectman Campbell signed the payroll warrant number 50, totaling $133,480.01, and expense warrant number 50, totaling $302,981.19 on June 12th, 2018. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anyone else? Um, sure. Um, I went to the DPW commissioners meeting. I'm not a representative or anything, but I just wanted to start getting into some meetings. Uh, very interesting. There was a great presentation by Herm Lilia um, from the planning board regarding the transportation oriented development plan that they've worked and they've talked about. Um, they also set the water and sewer rates for the year, so that was very interesting. The water rate is now 1213 and the sewer rate is 1724. It's a very interesting meeting, long meeting. What was the increase get... on that, Ruthie? Huh? You know? What was the differential between last year and this year? Do you know um, the water was? rate before was 1120, and now it's up to 1213. The sewer rate is, was 1528, and now it's up to 1724. And we ran a deficit last year. We, we didn't use as much, so um, still have to operate as much, so it's going to be more. Um, but that was very interesting. It was a long meeting. It didn't get over till 10. Um, <laughs> Uh, spot the, it was great with the celebration of Bob Visnick for Small per Business yeah, of the Year. Great, and Bob certainly deserves it with all he does in town with Rotary and just everything town moderator. It was excellent. And also I went to my first um, CIPC meeting that I just okay. wanted to get a feel <laughs> for. Uh, I'm not the person on that necessarily, but it was very interesting and lots of work for this coming year for that group. Very interesting meeting. Great. Um, anyone else? So you don't mind coming back? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Ruth. <laughs> Warm up for. Yeah. yeah. I have a couple. Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. So um, I was with Ruth at the Capital Improvement Planning Commission meeting yesterday, um, and we do have a lot of work ahead of us. We generate. We're trying to accelerate the process yeah. and start the capital budget process earlier in the year and give the department heads more time to. Um, go through a, a process that has a little more rigor and discipline and um, so that happened and I attended the MVP workshop oh my I'm gonna forget what MVP stands for municipal vulnerability preparedness Thank you. Um, it was a day-long workshop was really really um, excellent and it was conducted by the Mass Area Planning Council um, learned a lot um, it was kind of depressing in some ways <laughs> because um, the, the rate at which the seas are rising is quite alarming in the Gulf of Maine, um, faster than I think anywhere else in the world. Um, the good news is that we are um, taking action and um, we will be preparing a report, the Mass Area Planning Council will be preparing a report and we will be sharing the report with um, the town in a listening session toward the end of June. Um, and once we do that, that will qualify us for the next level of grants that are made available through the state as part of the MVP program. Um, and so we are going to qualify as a climate resilient community certified. Um, may I finish, Toby? Um, 
And so um, this is a really important step that we're taking to, um, to be able to qualify for those grants. And you may have heard um, in the last month or so, the governor made available um, uh, a huge amount of money for seaside communities to start to deal with the effects of climate change and rising sea levels. Great. Um, and then one more thing. Yeah, go ahead, please. Um, I, we had the first insurance task force meeting today. Oh, great. And so it's a busy week. Um, but it's good. We're, we have a really good group of very qualified people who are getting together to start to brainstorm, you know, what are some of the options that we have at hand to try to start to control health care costs for the town. Mm -hmm. That's great. Toby had a question. Did you, oh, just if I can, oh, one yeah, second, Tom, to, to jump on what Denise was saying and, and add to a little bit, on Wednesday, there is the Coastal Resiliency um, Workshop that's being held. Uh, the next cruise, Wednesday. Next yeah. Wednesday. Um, not right, exactly. Thank you. Um, and that's going to be, that's going to address a lot of these things. So that's uh, 5.30 to 7.30 at the cruise port. Um, I'm going to try to be there if I can. As long as work permitting, I can be yeah. there. I will, I'll be there. Yeah. So. yeah. Great. Um, Toby, did you have a question? Uh, yes, I did. Toby Arseni in 95 Granite Street. I spoke to you about my concerns about the uh, coastal floodplain section of the zoning code and the stormwater bylaw and the code bylaws. I also spoke at the planning board and uh, asked Mr. Hilaria, sitting next to me, if he would bring up the issue at the coastal resiliency workshop. Was the issue brought up? And are we going to get uh, lists of... Uh, you know, model uh, ordinances from other towns, as I asked for. Yes, Toby, I did make that request of Sam Cleves, and I have that information. Thank you. And I will share it with the, uh, Mitch and the Conservation Commission, and with Herm, if you're interested. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, one, just <coughs> one more. Up. Are you done with your update? I'm done. Great. Yeah. One more that I think, Don, you forgot. Uh -oh. Perhaps the most important. What happened? Is that Don, Bob Viznik, and I were invited to speak to the third graders. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I can't believe that. Oh, my God. That was awesome. We I, spent a wow, morning. <laughs> we spent um, a morning. We, we rotated throughout the three so jealous. third grade classrooms. It was their questions we each got to speak for a few minutes and then I, I actually heard some kids told me that they pressed you hard last year <laughs> 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 but let me tell you these kids are like the future leaders of yeah, the town they their questions were like were on point wow. i was super impressed that had them with the note bessarelli who teaches yeah. she had them with the notebooks out and they're firing and they questions took, they, took notes, great question. they took notes question, while we spoke uh, right? 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 they wow. took notes while we spoke and then they went around and asked I me mean, they asked me what my kids thought of me being a selectman it was, they were super it was questions. like and then a few things they caught me a little off guard on um <laughs> You know, I did ask one question I asked them was and they were they like understood I, I asked them why there there has to be an an odd why there's an odd number of people on our board and they right. knew immediately. Yep. You know, just oh, wow. like the good. sharpest. Um, one of them one great question was I asked if any of them had been to town hall and one of them raised her hand and she said, Is it the paper house? Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> No, but good guess. <laughs> so I did tell them that um, that for next year's class if if they can, it's too late this year because they get done next week. But for next year, we would arrange before we go visit for them to come into town hall and mm. get a tour. Oh, yeah, and data, great. which the kids yeah. were like jumping. Uh, well, at the Caroline, class. I had my daughter in oh, one right. of those classes, yep. which was great. So that was fun. And then I tell you, I got, and I'm sure you did too, a, a stack of thank you cards and then yeah. handwritten. Yes. And it was nice. some of them nice. were Mrs. Campbell. Some of them were, I mean, they were just, it was, I, I put them, you know, I, I, I built my wife a hope chest years ago, and I took the stack of them, I put them in there to keep them in a special place, because yeah. they're that cool. They yeah. Really are, they're that one, awesome. One of my thank you notes, I won't name names, but it, she drew flowers, and it said, um, regular citizens, with a with an arrow, and then she wrote you, with a really tall, pretty flower. <laughs> it was That's really awesome. cool. I got the bald head in there, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was, it was great. It was fantastic. It was cool. So anyway, um, that was like a highlight. <laughs> it was a million nice. times better than working that morning. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Um, okay, anything else? We're good to move on? No. Great. Okay, uh, town administrators. Oh, um, you know what? I apologize. I'm not, I didn't, I meant to like go over the whole liaison list and I didn't totally get, I didn't get to it this week. 
Is would anyone would you guys be all right if we waited until next meeting to do the lia our liaison assignments, or is anyone dying to do it tonight? No, I think that if I may, yeah, go ahead. Um, I think that works to our advantage too, because as part of this and 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 heading this up, hold, not I shouldn't say that, um, as kind of spearheading an effort to to make this a better process for everybody. Um, there are some things that I'm going to do. Um, and I think that'll work well if we could put it off. And I'm going to work with Mitch on those in, next perfect. week great. and go through this and, uh, and get it. So perfect. I'm good with great. waiting. Okay, okay perfect. Okay. Thank um, you. And then uh, town administrator's report. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just briefly, I had the, the good fortune of attending uh, this past week with uh, uh, Chief Horvath, the graduation uh, from the National uh, FBI National Academy with uh, for Lieutenant Schmink. It was a, uh, it's a rigorous 10-week program down in Quantico, Virginia on the Marine base um, in the FBI Training Academy. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for him uh, and, and for those of us attending. Um, Chief Horvath also was a graduate of that from 10 years ago. Excellent program. Uh, we'll certainly have uh, Lieutenant come in front of the board um, once he gets settled back into things in a few weeks uh, to, to recognize him. But that was certainly... Uh, quite an experience to, to, to go and see, and I was uh, proud to, to be there representing um, Rockport for that. Corbin's going to be uh, <coughs> looking at that one down the line, huh? Something <laughs> fun like that. Hopefully. That's it. <laughs> um, next week we have our, uh, our uh, management meeting, end of your management meeting. That's always, June is always the busy one. We have them quarterly. Um, I'll be going over the uh, employee evaluation process and going over the operating budget uh, process as well, um, making some... Um, operational changes to our process this year to try to, similar to what's happening with capital improvement, we're making some, some enhancements to that process to get a little bit more information uh, from the departments to go through a bit more of a um, stringent process ahead of time uh, with some additional review steps. So I'll be walking through the, uh, that with the department heads next week. Um, and I'll be sharing the changes with the board as well so that you're aware of them so that by the time it comes to you, it'll have um, several additional steps in. There'll be some additional information that'll be available throughout the process to give a little bit more detail. Uh, so we're looking forward to having that, uh, that process continue. Um, and right now we're just uh, gearing up for end of fiscal year. That's uh, operationally, that's one of our, that's the big priority right now, making sure we close things out mm -hmm. uh, correctly. You'll see certainly some year-end transfers shortly and we'll continue to work through that process. Good. Great. Thank you. Great. Um, okay, moving on to the action list. Let's move the reappointments to the end because I know there are people here for specific items. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so first we have appointment of Lori McDonald, uh, the insurance committee. Is there a motion? Um, yes. I move that the board appoint Lori McDonald as a member of the insurance committee for a term to expire on June 30, 2020. Uh, it's L2. Oh, L2. Second. Okay, great. Motion is made and seconded. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Next, Candace Waldron, Rights of Way Committee. Mm, that's Paul. Ruthie. Paul. It's no, that's, L3. <laughs> that's Ruthie. It's on the third page in on your list, Ruthie. Bottom. Okay, no, it's, Candace Waldron it's is, is Murphy. Murphy. Oh, Rights of Way. Oh, no, that's, those are angry. Oh, I'm sorry. Opponents. Okay. Keep going a couple pages. Okay. Paul, keep keep going to L3. L3. Oh, oh got it. Right. Okay, okay. Uh, I move. <laughs> I move that the board appoint Candace Waldron as a member of the Rights Away Committee for a term to expire on June 30th, 2020. Great. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Approval of parking requests for the First Baptist Church for the week of July 16th to the 20th. I move that the selectmen grant permission to, to the First Baptist Church to have their Vacation Bible School participants and volunteers to park both ways on High Street, from School Street to Mount Pleasant, and without paying for the meters from 9 to 1 p.m. on July 16th through July 20th. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion on this? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Approval of temporary signs in Dock Square for Barletta in Dock Square Barletta Park in the Community House for the Gardens Plein Air event. Madam Chair, I move that the board approve temporary signs to be put up in Dock Square Barletta Park in the Community House from June 13th to June 29th for the Art in the Gardens Plein Air event on June 29th. Second. Second. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded. Further discussion. Dan, is this what you're here for? Yes. Great. Thank you very much. 
Any further discussion? No. no. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. All set. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, permission for Spire and Lodge to use a portion of School Street for the annual Scandinavian Midsummer Fest. I assume this is why Herm is here tonight. Okay. <laughs> I move that the Board of Selectmen grant permission for Spiron Lodge to use the portion of School Street between Broadway and the entrance to the parking lot behind the Rockport House of Pizza for their annual Scandinavian Midsummer Fest from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on June 23rd, 2018. Second. second. Motion has been made and seconded. Um, I assume same as last year? Yes, same as last year. Great. Okay, any further comments or questions? Nope. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, opposed nay. Motion carries. All set. Thank you. Nice to see you. Great, yes, thank you. It's great. Great. <laughs> uh, permission to hold Illumination Night Fireworks on Saturday, August 11th. I move that the board grant permission uh, for a fireworks display at the end of Granite Pier on Saturday, August 11th, two, uh, 2018. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further comments? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we thank haven't you. voted yet. <laughs> Anything um, new and exciting? I can say that Roy Moore is celebrating their 100th year wow. this year. Wow. Wow. And they have made a special contribution, so there will be a prelude to the fireworks show that will start at 9. Neat. It will be something special. Wow. wow. Is it going to be like an enormous lobster? lobster. Yeah, right, a lobster. Yeah. 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 Wow. How's the fundraising going? Is everything going okay? The fundraising is going well. The town, the Good. businesses are all supporting us as yeah. well as the local government. Wow. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. What wow. year is this, number five? Number six. Six. Wow. Great. Wow. Neat. Wow. Love it. I think yeah. there's more people here for that weekend than Fourth of July. Yep. I think so, too. Yeah. Mm. I guess we'll have to keep going. With yeah. and, and, and it's on my it, birthday again this year, which is pretty nice. <laughs> and having is it, it with, really your birthday that day? Uh -huh. oh. Having it with Lobster Fest for Rotary it's is like just a win-win. Yeah. I mean, that's always, that's been great. Yeah, having, yeah, yeah. it's pretty yeah. cool. And Sarah, if you'd like to sign a shell for your birthday, you can come up that day. Oh, sign really? Right on a shell. Oh, that I'll would be cool. Exactly where that would be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in my phone now. Um, yeah, no, I would love to do that, actually. Yeah. My Just kids would love to do that. Yeah. One of my kids signed the wind turbine, one of the blades of Ooh. the wind turbine, and whenever we drive by there, which is, what, three times a day, they're like, I think I see my name. <laughs> that was just before me. That was awesome. I wanted yeah, that would have been cool. cool. Um, okay, I uh, know we made the motion. Any further comments? All those okay. in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Uh, Rockport Musical, Rockport Music Festival banners on Main Street. I move that I move that the selectmen grant permission to the Rockport Music to post its banners along Main Street from June fifteenth to July fifteenth for its thirty seventh annual Rockport Chamber Music Festival. Second. Second. Motion has Oops. been made and seconded. Um, I know this is the you know they've come and asked for the same thing yep. several years in a row. Yep. Um, any comments on this? No. no. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Um, oh, this is what, okay. Construction extension at 142 Long Beach. Madam Chair, yep. Madam Chair, I move the board grant a construction extension to Sean Costello, Costello Construction and Remodeling sure. Inc. to finish exterior work at 142 Long Beach until June 30th, 2018. Okay. Second. Okay. Motion has been made. Seconded. I know Sean's here. Hi, Sean. Nice Hi. to see you. you as well. um, do you want to just make a quick comment? Any comments about sure. it? Great. We had, uh, we had some fun with National Grid um, based on the winter that we had. Mm -hmm. So we had a few uh, unexpected delays in actually getting the project started due to a lack of crews to do the overhead work mm -hmm. on the power lines. So it got pushed by them about 30 days, and so we kind of lost the descent of the rush. Sure. Okay. We're close. We have some stairs to put in and a few miscellaneous things, and okay. we'll be out of there, and everybody can enjoy their summer. <laughs> Great. Good time to be at the beach, too, yeah. for you. Yeah. Well, not for me. I'm yeah. out of there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, okay, any... Further comments nope. or None. questions? Okay, great. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Great. Thank Thanks so much. Nice to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Sean. Uh, Pigeon Cove leases, Charles Osmond. I move that the Board of Selectmen approve and sign Pigeon Cove land leases with Charles Osmond to expire on June 30, 2019. I second it. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. 
Motion carries. Approval of a license for the Little Art Cinema. That is me. I move, if I can find it, I move. I move that the selectmen approve and sign a uh, cinema license for Little Art Cinema at 19 School Street to expire on May 31st, 2019. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor say aye. 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 Oppose nay. Motion carries. Approval of a license for Locomotion Laundry. I move that the selectmen approve and sign a laundromat license for locomotion at 29 Whistle Stop Mall to expire on May 31st, 2019. Second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 I oppose aye. nay. Motion carries. Approval of license for Odd Freustein Antiques. Madam Chair, I move that the selectmen approve and sign an antique dealer's license for Odd Freustein Antiques at 29 Whistle Stop Mall to expire on May 31st. 2019. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Next we have an approval of license for Fisherman's Taxi. I move that the board approve and sign taxi cab licenses for Fisherman Taxi of 211 Essex Avenue, Gloucester to expire on December 31st, 2018. Seconded. M motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Uh, notice of lease for 55 Long Beach. Okay. I move that the Board of Selectmen approve and sign a notice of lease for 55 Long Beach with Richard Gern Gernstein. Okay. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion? Everything looks in order, Mitch? Correct. Great. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Opposed, nay. <laughs> Motion carries. We Next we have um, year-end transfers. Um, can I do this one? one? It has police on it. Oh. 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 You know, oh, you know what? Somebody else could yeah. Thank I'll you. I'll take it if you want. Okay. Uh, do you want to do it with Denise? No. Go, go ahead. No, you want to? Go ahead. <laughs> Don't fight over it. I know, right? right? <laughs> I move the Board of Selectmen approve and ask the chairperson to sign the following year-end transfers. $346.85 from patrol officer wages to deputy emergency management director stipend. $5,000 from patrol officer wages to police vehicle maintenance. $37.51 from patrol officer wages to emergency management director stipend. $2,850 from fire in service training wages to fire training and development. $1,652.69 from health insurance to fire standby wages. $10,061.68 from health insurance to fire seasonal and special wages. $688.21 from health insurance to fire vehicle maintenance. $12,536.31 from traffic and parking labor to sick leave buyback. $250 from health insurance to life insurance, $200 from health insurance to animal control legal ads, $50,000 from patrol officer wages to snow and ice deficit, $2,463.69 from traffic and parking labor to snow and ice deficit, $600 from technical support specialist wages to ISNT training and development. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Um, Mitch, any comment on these um, year-end transfers? Right. Um, okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion I'll carries. I'll abstain. With one abstention. And then um, back to the annual reappointments for boards, committees, and commissions. So we're now back to L1, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. L1. Mm-hmm. Paul? That's your big Paul. Name. It's back to the first page, Paul. First page. Hold on, that skips. First page. That skips, right? Oh. That's kind of weird the way that happens. Okay, I move that the board appoint Roger Lesh as the action oh. and company representative for a term to expire on June 30th, 2019. Seconded. Motion has been made and seconded. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. All right, so it looks like we have different. Next, we have Board of Fire Engineers. L2 is. No, that's, I'm still under L1. Yeah, so. We're all, we're all going. Oh. L1. oh, everything is L1. Okay. okay that's so we're on L2? Okay. 
No. No. No, we're on L1, just going down the list of L1 and keep them going. Yeah, but turn on the your... first page. Yeah. Right. Okay. So no, next where, we have, I, do I have this right one? under L1, first page. No, come back. No, it's me. Come back here. Oh, it's you. Okay. I so move that the Board of Selectmen appoint James Doyle, Kurt so Keating, right and Jack oh, Porter okay. as you. members of the Board of Fire Engineers for terms to expire on June 30th, 2019. Second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Oh, why don't I ask up front, does anyone have any... These are regular annual reappointments that people have indicated their in, their intent to. Does anyone have comments on them, or can I? Can we just kind just of fly through them? Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, okay. No, we're fine. There's Great. no issues. So on this one, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Great. Um, emergency man management directors. Madam Chair, I move that the board appoint Mark Schmink as director of emergency management and Seth Perry as deputy director of emergency management for terms to expire on June 30th, 2019. Okay, seconded. motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Forest Fire Warden. I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Michael Franchero as the town's Forest Fire Warden for a term to expire on June 30, 2019. Second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Uh, Granite Pier Committee. I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Charles Nicholas. Uh, Nichols, uh, John Thompson, Eric Rask, Michael Tupper, and Greg Morrell as members of the Granite Pier Committee uh, for terms to expire on June 30th, 2019. Second. Second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Next, we have annual reappointment of the Memorial Day Committee. I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Claire Franklin, June Sullivan, Kendra Daigle, Darlene Trumbore, and Gail Zeman as members of the Memorial Day Parade Committee for terms to expire on June 30th, 2019. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'm going to abstain because my sister-in-law is okay. in the, which I didn't go to the prom with her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you certainly hope not. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's going to get along great. <laughs> <laughs> Motion carries with one abstention. <laughs> um... Should we put in the abstention that you went to the prom <laughs> yeah, together? No. <laughs> oh, that's Teresa. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> um, Millbrook Meadow Committee. Madam Chair, I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Samuel headache. Colburn, Shannon Mason, okay. Charmaine Blanchard, Frederick Tarr III, Barbara Sparks, Mar Marshall Lombardo, Stephanie Wolf, Eileen Morrissey, and Laura Hallowell as members of the Millbrook Meadow Committee for terms to expire on June 30th, 2019. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Um, open Space and Recreation Committee. I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Lawrence Neal, Frederick Tarr III, Stephanie Cunningham, and Rob Claypool as members of the Open Space and Recreation Committee for terms to expire on June 30, 2019. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Elder Affairs Coordinator. Oh, that's me. I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Roger Lesh as Elder Affairs Coordinator for a term to expire on June 30th, 2019. Second. Motion has been made. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Town Art Committee. I move that Selectmen appoint Karen Berger, Dorothy Marshall, Brian McMillan, um, Rosemary Polarella. Pol I think it's Okay. And Monica Lawton as members of the Town Art Committee for terms to expire on June 30th, 2019. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Thank you again, Monica. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Uh, Zoning Board of Appeals associate members. Uh, Madam Chair, I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Britta Cahoon, Fred Frit Frederick Fritzen, and John Rees as associate members of the Zoning Board of Appeals the term to expire on June 30th, 2019. Second. Motion has been made seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Uh, zoning Administrator. I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint John Rees as the Zoning Administrator for the Zoning Board of Appeals for a term to expire on June 30th, 2019. 
Seconded. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Um, Council on Aging. I move Diane's that the here, Board of Selectmen appoint uh, Diane Debro and Nancy Kearns as members of the Council on Aging for a term to expire on June 30th, 2021. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Thank you, Diane. Yes, thank you, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Um, Cultural Council. I move that the Board of Selectmen appoint Jacqueline Ball and Linda Tehan as members of the Cultural Council for terms to expire on June 30th, 2021. Okay. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Uh, Harbor Advisory Committee. Madam Chair, I move the Board of the board appoints Larry Stepanuk as a member of the Harvard Advisory Committee for a term to expire on June 30th, 2021. Second. Okay, motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Um, Historic District Historical Commission. I move that the board appoint Joanne Weil as an alternate member of the Historic District Historical Commission for a term to expire on June 30th, 2021. Okay. Seconded. The motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Can you speak? Opposed keeping you up? Oh my gosh, I have such an allergy headache today. No. It's killing me. Um, motion carries. Next we have annual reappointments of the Insurance Committee. I move that the Board of Selectmen approve Gerald Boyle and Joseph Carroll as members of the Insurance Committee for terms to expire on June 30th, 2021. Okay. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. And almost, we have the Rights of Way Committee. I move that the Board of the Selectmen appoint Laurie Morrow, Mary Jane Sawyer, and Tom Micas as members of the Right of Way Committee for terms to expire on June 30th, 2021. Second. Motions remain seconded. Thank you, Tom, for your continued work on the Rights of Way Committee. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. And last but certainly not least, um, Zoning Board of Appeals. Madam Chair, I move that the, that the selectmen appoint Charles Christopher as a member of the Zoning Board of Appeals for a term to expire on June 30th, 2023. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. And just a note, I know it, it always seems like, I feel like we do these all together, the annual reappointments, but we couldn't exist or do our jobs without every single one of these people that volunteers their time, including the people that are here tonight. Mm -hmm. And I just, a huge heartfelt thanks to them for um, putting in the, the time and nights and, you know, and, and all the time away from their families as well to make this town a better place. I will tell you, the third graders were shocked when I told them that over 200 people volunteered mm -hmm. in town to be on boards and committees, they were like, what? That's Actually, farm team. one of them said, are there that many people in town? <laughs> 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 and I said, yes, but we honestly couldn't do our jobs without all of you. So thanks to those of you here tonight and thanks to everyone else who's willing to, to, to keep up the good work. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely. Um, is that it? So we have, we had an executive session scheduled for tomorrow night, but we have now moved that to next Tuesday, correct? Correct, Madam Chair. The, do we need the, a vote to do that? Um, no, because you already have that we meeting have, established. Okay, so perfect. that okay. Wednesday and Thursday night meetings are canceled. Okay, great. Okay. And then, um, I think that's it. Is there a motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. I second. So moved. <laughs> okay. Um, all those in favor say aye. Aye, aye, aye. aye. Nay. Motion carries. Now we can get to work. <laughs> Tuesday. So long.